Hello YouTube, welcome back to another airport update for my 1400 scale fictional model airport. This is the third or fourth airport update, and it's a very special one because one, we have a new expansion, and also I have decided a name for this airport. Um, before I start, I just want to say very sorry for delaying the video. Some extracurricular activities came up, events, and I had to attend those. Um, hopefully this next weekend it won't be as bad, but we will see. Um, so yeah, the new name for the airport, new name is Illinois Gateway International Airport. It's based south of Chicago, about 30 to 40 minutes, not in a suburb, but in a city called Piotone, Illinois. And this is actually based off of the real, not real Illinois Gateway, but uh, a real airport in Piotone, Illinois called South Suburban International Airport, Chicago South Suburban International Airport. It's a proposed new airport for Chicago. Um... And it's supposed to be like a new international airport, I guess. So, because the Illinois, because the government, no, sorry, I think, I think the government has bought, has bought the land, bought the air, it's actually a real airfield. It's got a runway and everything, but it's not like a air, commercial airport in real life. So this is basically my version of it. And if you don't, you don't know this, but Illinois, I actually had this airport in 2015 but not on this mat it was on those two tables there and these two tables actually used to be over here one behind the other so this one would be behind this one and it was a huge really huge airport i don't have any videos of it or pictures sadly but hopefully you get the idea it was a huge airport and i really miss it but it it's it won't be like this it's nothing like this but i really do miss it, it was a great airport um and yeah, um, so without further ado, let me go ahead and show you guys the expansion, if I didn't already leak the footage when I was looking at the tables, but here it is, focus, yeah. So as you can see, we got, um, we expanded the Terminal 1, it went from 12 gates to 15, so that's great, we always want extra space. The runway, I've added over there, I'll get into that later, and then sadly, the International Terminal actually got a downgrade, because it went from 4 gates to 3 gates, but, um... I'm fine with that. And then, yeah. So let's get started with the airport update. I'll start with the runway, obviously. Like we will do every update. Um, so yeah. Um, so then this runway board, I've actually had this since 2015. I made this... Uh, or actually, almost two years ago. I made this in November 2015. Um, so almost two years ago. Um... And I didn't really use it for any airport, I just had it, I just made it for some reason. So, yeah, let's, let's get started, by the way. Um, Alright, UPS MD-11, freighter, rolling down runway 9-er, heading, heading out to Anchorage, came in from Louisville. Um, behind that, we have United through 19 getting ready to pull on the runway, heading out to uh, Newark, and came in from Denver. United Express CRJ 700 heading out to Washington Dulles and came in from there. Then moving on to Terminal 1, start over here with the Spirit A319, came from Detroit and heading out to Fort Lauderdale. Delta 7090 came from De uh, Minneapolis and will head to Atlanta. I will probably get another Delta aircraft, maybe the 737-900 and also the Spirit A320 Neo if that comes out, or maybe the Aero Classics one, but I'll definitely get another Spirit Airlines plane. And maybe another Delta plane, we'll see. United through 20 stars and bars retro livery. This is here from uh, Somerset County International or Controller SCA's airport and heading out to Los Angeles or Gemini to 46th airport. United through 20 regular colors here from San Francisco and we'll head to Houston and Continental. Pushing back, we have the American 757 200 old colors. The last one in the fleet, and this is heading off to Las Vegas, came in from New York, JFK. And in real life, the last American 757 in the old colors in the fleet is N679AN. And it actually, in real life, it only does JFK to Las Vegas to JFK. It's been doing that route for the last week. So I thought I would incorporate that into my airport, but have it stop over in my airport. So it's going to do JFK, Illinois Gateway, Las Vegas, and then Las Vegas, Illinois Gateway, JFK. So... And we'll keep doing that until it's retired. Alright, American 737-800 here from Dallas-Fort Worth, heading out to Miami. Miami, I don't know why I said that weirdly. Another 738 
here from Phoenix, heading out to Philadelphia. American ERJ-145 here from Albany, New York, or a vacations airport, and we'll head to, um, trying to think of a good airport to send this thing to, um, go ahead and say, 2,000 years later. Trying to think of a good, small, midwestern airport, but I can't lay my hands on one. I'm just going to go ahead and send this thing over to, um, Memphis. Got American CRD 700 here from Shreveport, Louisiana, or uh, Luke Robinson, I think that was his name. They're here from Shreveport, Louisiana, and they'll be heading out to Charlotte. Over here, we got a JetBlue E190 with the barcode tail. Um, came in from Boston and will head out to JFK, continuing. Or, no, sorry, came from Boston, heading out to JFK. Over here, JetBlue A320 here from Long Beach, California. We're heading out to Orlando. Alaska 737-900, honoring those who serve 739. If I didn't say, I don't know why I said 739 twice, I'm sorry. Um, heading out to SeaTac, Seattle, Tacoma came from there as well. Southwest 737-700, heading out to St. Louis and came in from Dallas, Love Field. And that little thing down there is just a little brace because this thing is super tail heavy um yeah and uh i might get the southwest 737 max by gemini i don't know but we'll see westjet 737 700 heading out to toronto pearson and came from there as well finally the icelander 757 200 heckle aurora here from reykjavik and head back to reykjavik and now finishing off with the really small international terminal. Right here we have the Emirates 777-200LR to and from Dubai. Etihad 777-300ER to and from Abu Dhabi. And the British Airways 777-300ER to and from London Heathrow. And the next update you'll probably see, um, well you will see the Lufthansa and Swiss A330s and the American 777. And then maybe, and obviously the British, and then maybe these three planes on the runway, sorry, on the runway for takeoff. So that'll be cool. And that concludes this airport update, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hope you enjoyed. Give me your thoughts on the new name and new airport design. If you want a route, please comment below. Make sure to make it realistic and stuff. Uh, could be cargo, could be regular, domestic or international and all that stuff. So please comment below. Um, and thank you all for watching this video. Comment, like, rate, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week with another video. And goodbye.